back again. So this is fifth grade, module five, lesson two, and we're still in topic A. So we're going to find the volume of a rectangular prism by packing with cubic units and counting. Let's take a look at A here. So we're not going to have our, we're not going to cut anything out here, obviously, and we're not going to be able to fold these walls up. But uh, just remember that these four flaps are the outer walls that we're going to be folding up when we do our calculating or our counting. So let's take a look here. We have volume is equal to, we know length times width equals area. And then for volume, we have to add in that third dimension of height. And that's where our walls are going to come into play. And actually, let's go ahead and change the color on those. We'll go length and then we'll go over red, black, and let's do green for our height. All right, so we know that volume is equal to length times width times height. So first thing we're going to do is find our length for the box number A here. So we have how long is our gray area or the base of our box? This is the base of the box and it's one, two centimeters. So we have our two centimeters here. And let's just go ahead and look at these two. One, two, three. That would be three centimeters. And this is one, two, three centimeters as well. And I'll explain this as I go through. So now for our second part is our width. How wide is the base of the box? So we know that that's two units as well. From here to here is one unit. And then from here to here is one unit. So that's going to be two units. And then lastly for this one, it's going to be how high is the box? The height is going to be the wall. How many units is the wall? Each of the walls on this box is one unit high. If I was to fold these flaps up, these four flaps, one, two, three, four, if I was to fold them up, it would be one unit high. So once I do that math, I know that my volume is equal to two times two times one. And it has to be, since it is a three-dimensional shape, it's going to be centimeters cubed or cubic centimeters. Let's take a look at B here. I already calculated my length. Let's take a look at my width here. So I know that the, the length, we said, is three, the three units, one, two, three of the gray area. And then my width is going to be my one, two, it's two units here, one, two, and then my height is going to be the height of that wall, which is also one, two units. I was to fold that box up, it would be two. Now I have three times two, six. Six times two is 12, and since it's three dimensions, it's going to be 12 cubic centimeters or 12 centimeters cubed. All right. Lastly, looking at C here, we know that our length is one, two, three. Our width is one, two, three, four centimeters. And lastly, our height, we're going to take the height of that wall, which will be one, two, and we say, well, three times four is 12. 12 times two is 24. It is a three dimensional figure. So it's 12, 24 cubic centimeters or 24 centimeters cubed. Let's just circle those answers. All right, let's take a look at number two here. So how many centimeter cubes would fit inside each box? And then it says, explain your answer using words and diagrams on the box. So figure's not drawing a scale. Obviously, this is bigger than a centimeter. From here to here is bigger than a centimeter. So we're going to say the number of cubes that would fit in. So I see that I have one, two, three here, but I also have a square here. So if there's a square here, that means that this back side, and I'm going to draw a line here. This back side has an extra set of rows. So really, instead of just three, I have six 
Hopefully you can see that six. I have three on the front and I'll have three in the back, just like a carton of eggs. If you have a half a dozen of eggs, you might only see the three here, but you know that there's a three on the other side. So there is six total cubes. We don't have to put centimeters cubed because they're asking for the number of cubes and that's six. And the explanation is you can do one or two things. You can say you have three cubes plus three cubes, or at this point, we can use our volume formula and say we have blank times blank times blank. Now, I know you may be looking at that like, well, how are we having three numbers? Remember, this is, count with me, one, two, three, by one, two. You didn't see that two, I'll draw that again in another color. One, two rows here. And then how high does it go? That was my length and my width. Now how high does it go? By one. Three times two is six. Six times one is six cubes. All right. Let's take a look here. Same thing. If I was to take my white line here and draw across the middle and draw these two here, I can see that there's one, two, three, four, five, six on this top layer, and then it means I have six on my bottom layer. So that's going to be 12 total. So I know I have 12 total. If you don't see how we got that, you can use your formula. Your explanation is going to be six cubes on top and six cubes on the bottom. All right, and for your formula, you can simply do well, I know how long it is. Well, we have one, two, three centimeters times one, two centimeters, or two layers there, times one, two. So I have six. Let's do the multiplication out. That was two and two. So I have six times two. Six times two equals 12. All right, last but not least, let's take a look here. I'm going to say well, I have one. For my length, I have one, two, three, four. My volume equals length times width times height. I just said it is four there. One centimeter, two centimeters, three centimeters, four. How wide is it? One, two. And how high is it? One two, three, four. So I know that there's one, two, three, four by one, two, three, four. So four by four, there's my two fours. And then there's a front and a back. So there's one, two. So there's my two. Four times four is 16. 16 times two is 32. If you wanted to count, you could say 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. And I didn't do that exactly like I did the first two, but I wanted to just show you a different way of doing that. So 32 would check out. And you could have said, instead of putting the word form, I did the multiplication. You could have said, I have 16 on, in one layer and 16 in my second layer. All right. Let's take a look at number three here. All right, it says the box pattern below holds 24 one centimeter cubes. Draw two different box pattern that would hold the same number of cubes. So let's see here. We know that we have a, in this case, it's a one, two, three by one, two, three, four by one, two. So what we can say is what other three multiplication problems can I multiply by to get 24? I know three times four is 12 and then two times 12 is 24. So that's how I'm getting my 24 one inch cubes. So let's see if I had that, I could also say, well, I know that two times 12 
is 24 times 1 is 24. Or I could say, well, 6 times 4 is 24 times 1. And if I was to draw those out, I would get the same numbers. And I'm going to push pause here just so I can draw that out really quickly. All right, so after trying to draw my other dimensions, I decided to go with the easy way out and just go ahead and take the same shape and just flip it to one side and have my 4 by 3 by 2. So now I have my length of 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 centimeters, my width of 1, 2, 3 centimeters, and my height of 1, 2 centimeters for my second one. And I'm going to go ahead and stop there. As always, like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in class. Thank you.